Hey guys, I need to give a shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. If you're unaware of what SeatGeek is, it is an app that lets you buy tickets to concerts, to sporting events, to any sort of major thing that you want to get a ticket to. And what it does is it shows you a map of the tickets listed across all different websites, and it shows you which deal is a good deal and which deal is a bad deal, so you know if you're getting ripped off. So if you download the app and you want to go and use it to buy tickets, make sure you use my code COOGS at checkout and you will save $20 off your first order. Thanks, Seed Geek. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to kind of do a video just talking about my creative player in Diamond Dynasty because I get a lot of questions about that when I'm streaming. You know, what build did you make your creative player? What route did you take? Um, you know, what equipment do you use? Whose batting stance do you use? All that type of stuff. And, you know, I get that question a lot and I answer it a lot, but I figured it'd probably just be easier for me to make a video showing you guys how I got my creative player to where it is so that way I can kind of eliminate one more question in my stream. So that's what this video is going to be about, going over the cap and telling you guys the choices that I made. Now, I'm not saying this creative player is the definitive number one best creative player build you can do. It's really up to a lot of preference and what you kind of want to do. But these are just the choices that I made. These are the choices that have worked for me and pretty much made my creative player one of the best players in my Diamond Dynasty team. By the way, no face cam for this video. I haven't taken a shower yet. I haven't made my bed yet. I wanted to get this video out and then just be lazy. So just deal with my voice, okay? All right, so first off, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual creative player. So I made my creative player a shortstop. I found that when looking at all the cards available and the cards that we can kind of predict are coming soon, I think shortstop right now and probably for the remainder of the year is going to be the most shallow position, I guess you could say. Uh, we did just get the 99 overall Cal Ripken Jr. in the fourth inning program, who is a beast card, don't get me wrong. But with the choices that I made with my creative player, the equipment that I have, the switch hitting capability, I personally think my 89 overall creative player with the equipment is actually better than the 99 overall Cal Ripken. And I don't see my creative player really leaving my lineup for the remainder of MLB The Show 19. I really just can't think of anybody. Maybe a 2018 flashback Lindor could give him a run for his money. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But as of right now, creative player is kind of my end game shortstop. So let's go ahead and take a look at the attributes. So, 89 overall switch hitting shortstop. I've got 84 77 contact, 81 78 power, 80 vision, 78 discipline, 76 fielding, 81 arm strength, uh, 72 arm accuracy, 79 reaction, 65 speed, and 40 stealing. So just off these attributes, you can obviously it's a, obviously see it's a pretty balanced build. Uh, good contact, good power against both sides with good vision, good fielding with good arm strength, 65 speed. But just on base level, this card would not be better than Cal Ripken Jr. This card would not be better maybe than Francisco Lindor even talking about the live series. We've got gold fielding only at 76 so that is probably a silver in the field if I'm not mistaken. Um, so just off these attributes alone this would not be better but when we actually add the equipment on top of everything and I'll show you guys some of the choices I made there you can see just how much it's actually going to be changing when we get into a game. So um I want to go ahead and now show you guys the choice that I actually made and kind of clear up a, a misconception that a lot of people have. So if we go over to shortstop and we take a look at the final two things right here, this is for the low diamond shortstop and then this is for the diamond shortstop, so 85 and 89 right here. Whatever you take in the first pack doesn't really have an impact on what you take in the second pack. So for me, I chose power when I hit level uh, or when I hit uh, 85 overall. So you guys can see 81, 78 power, 75 fielding, 80 arm strength. Um, and then when I was an 89, I chose balance. So I went power and then balance. But if you look at this, the 89 overall balanced is literally the same thing as the card I have right now. So if I would have chose... Um, which one is it? Uh, speed. If I would have chose speed and then I would have went into the 89 overall and then I would have chose balanced, it would have been the same card. The first pick is not going to have an impact on your second pick. Now, the only thing about that is I don't actually know if power changes anything. So if you choose power one and then you go here and then you choose uh, power two, I don't think that has an impact. I don't actually know, though. That's the only one I'm kind of confused on. So if you guys know anything about that, let me know. Like, if I would have chose um, in the 85, if I would have chose speed, and then I would have went to speed 2, would there would have been something else here? I don't actually know. But as far as I know, the first diamond choice pack does not reflect the second one. 
Now let's go ahead and take a look at the equipment I have on my creative player. So I have all diamond equipment, well pretty much all diamond equipment, at least the ones that I really feel like matter. And then uh, some of the other ones I have some golds which are over here which we'll get to in a second. But let's go ahead and start it off with the bat. I have the sand bat, the maple, it gives me 11 power and 3 contact. Um, so that is against both sides, by the way. It's not just against one side. Like, it's not 11 power versus righties. It's 11 power against both sides. So that's obviously good right there. There are some other good bats in the game, but I find that power is really what I wanted to go for with my creative player. So power, uh, plus 11 with the sand bat maple is the choice I made there. Over here, I have the Rawlings Workhorse Compression Batting Gloves, plus 3 to my contact, plus 6 to my power, plus 3 to my batting clutch, and plus 7 to my plate vision. Anytime you can get your plate vision up, it's going to be an absolute W. Uh, vision is huge. Vision is so important. And, you know, it, when you get your vision up, it's just going to make it that much easier to hit and square up balls. Um, then as we move over to the fielding glove, I've got the All-Star Pro Elite Diamond Fielding Glove. It looks like a catcher's glove, but um, I can assure you I'm not a catcher. <laughs> but it gives me plus 10 to my fielding, plus 10 to my arm, plus 10 to my arm accuracy. The other two stats there are pitching stats so that's really not going to have an impact on my creative player in any way so this really really helps my fielding this brings my fielding up from like a 76 to like an 86 so that's obviously really really good right there then as we move over to my cleats I have the Adidas Adi Zero 6.0 diamond cleats plus 14 to my speed plus 10 to my stealing and plus 8 to my reaction so not only do these help you on the base paths they help you a little bit in defense as well by increasing your reaction and then the other two stats like I said again are just pitching stats pitching clutch and hits per nine so those don't really have an impact all right moving over here to the um the elbow guard i don't really have a diamond one and i don't really feel like i really need one because it's pretty much a difference between like two vision points so this one i have i have the under armor game day armor this gives me plus three discipline and plus three durability durability really doesn't matter because there's no injuries in online play unless you're a pitcher and you get a hit square in the head so durability really doesn't have uh, an impact with the discipline will help you check your swings a little bit more so uh having plus three discipline is really nice there is a diamond one but i'm pretty sure it's plus five and plus five so i really didn't want to spend an extra you know 10 to 20 thousand stubs just adding two more points to my discipline I really didn't feel like it was all that worth it then as we get over here to the leg guard we have the Evo shield leg guard plus three to my batting clutch and plus three to my durability once again durability not the biggest deal in the world um, but batting clutch that will help you and make your PCI a little bit bigger when there's runners in scoring position so that is a little bit of a plus right there but once again it's the same thing as the other guard I didn't feel like spending another thousands of stubs if you know it was only going to give me another two points to my clutch then over here we've got the um the the wrist guard or the wristband whatever you want to call it um, this is the Franklin Sports one, plus three to my discipline and plus three to my durability. So once again, my discipline going up just a little bit more, helping me check my swings and get better check swing results. Then we're getting into the compression sleeve. We've got the Under Armour Armor Knit Diamond Compression Sleeve, plus five to my durability. Once again, durability doesn't really matter, but it gives me another seven points to my arm and another five points to my arm accuracy. So if we take that with the fielding glove, plus ten to my arm plus nine to the accuracy that's 17 and then what was it to the accuracy over here it was five so that's 17 14 points on top of the already good accuracy i already have that's just really really good right there then we've got the uh back grip i got the lizard skin one plus three to my contact plus three to my power plus three to my batting clutch and then plus five to my vision so once again helping a bunch of different hitting uh attributes then we're moving over here to the glasses i got the nike hyperforce elite diamond fielding glasses these give me plus five to my vision plus four to my discipline plus five to my accuracy plus three to my fielding and plus four to my reaction so these give me a very solid amount of attributes upgrades just across the board really hitting fielding everything then we've got the diamond stance socks plus five to my speed plus seven to my stealing once again making me a little bit quicker to go gone or go along with the uh adidas addy zero cleats then we've got the legendary call diamond ritual i just wanted as much hitting as i could get i could get another ritual that would help with my speed a little bit but this gives me another eight power and another eight contact on top of the high power and contact that i already have it just makes me an absolute force at the plate so the that is the equipment i have decided to 
to go with with my creative player. I don't really feel like I need to change anything. I could put on these catcher mask things, but I'm not really planning on playing catcher with my creative player as of right now. I have Pudge. I'm pretty good there. Um, but yeah, these are the equipment things that I wanted to go through. At the time I bought them, which was a while ago, I think all of this equipment added up to roughly about 150k. Um, so I did spend a good amount of stubs on it, but I think it's worth it to get the player that I have. So now what I want to uh, do is I want to show you guys what the creative player actually looks like in the game. So remember, these are the attributes that I currently have at an 89, right? 84, 81 against righties, 77, 78 against lefties, 80 vision, 76 fielding, 65 speed. Remember these numbers because once we go ahead and get into an actual game here, you guys are just going to see how much better... Um, the uh, the creative player is going to be. I want to go to play versus CPU, not play versus friends here. Um, extended play, play versus CPU. Go ahead and go against the Orioles away. I'm going to have my creative player bat lead off so you guys can see just how good he actually is once this loads up here. Yep, 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 yep. Um, and you guys are going to get a small little glimpse of the creative player stats. I'm going to go ahead and just advance to the game because I want to show you exactly what this looks like in the game. So, the creative player equipment will not show what the actual attributes will be until you're actually in a game. Um, you can't see what it's going to look like. You're going to have to do all the math yourself if you're in the menus and you're on the Diamond Dynasty screen. But once you're actually in a game, whether online or play versus CPU, then you'll actually be able to see how good the creative player is. All right, so he's coming up right here. Look how big my PCI is. Are you guys ready for this? Look at these freaking numbers. Boom. 101 94 contact 109 106 power 97 vision 88 discipline 93 clutch 89 fielding 98 arm strength 91 arm accuracy 84 speed with 57 stealing you guys can see just how much better this creative player got with all of that equipment like the contact went up like 30 against both sides 35 almost um you got the fielding at 89 so he's a diamond fielder now with 98 arm strength and 91 arm accuracy 84 speed and 57 stealing this is exactly why i think this creative player is better than cal ripken jr and probably the shortstop that i'll continue to use for the rest of the year because I've got pretty much the same contact as Cal Ripken Jr. I'm not sure exactly what his contact numbers are. I've got better power, great vision, pretty much the same amount of fielding. Cal may have a little bit better fielding, but 89 is already a diamond fielder. It's not going to be that much bigger of a deal. Um, I got better speed than Cal with more stealing, and I'm a switch hitter. I won't have to worry about playing matchups. I just don't see how this creative player could be beat in any way by another shortstop in the game. I really think this is the best option I'm going to get, so I'm going to go ahead and stick with him. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys exactly what the equipment does to this guy again we're back in the menu you can see how much different this creative player looks when you have the base stats versus the high diamond stats with all the equipment so that's the equipment i recommend um the last thing i want to show you guys is just kind of like what i actually use for my player i'm like 6 2 2 10 as a shortstop as far as my motions my batting stance i use jose bautista's batting stance i didn't make any changes to it as far as you know the, the batting stance creator I just left it the same I kind of thought about changing it um I love hitting with Bautista's batting stance like I, there's no real need for me to change it because I'm super good with it um but I did think about changing it to Griffey because as I was playing those Griffey moments man those Griffey moments were were so much fun to use that that Griffey batting stance with the bat waggle or whatever so um I want to I want to see what that kind of would be like so let me find Griffey really quick and just see like that that actually looks pretty clean. That's from the right side of the play too. That's not even from the left side. So I don't know. Maybe I'll change it up. But that's just the uh, the batting stance that I've been using. Jose Bautista. I do so well with that card um, all the time that I figured my creative player would probably benefit from having his batting stance as well. Um, as far as that, everything else is pretty much up to preference. Um, I don't really have any unlockable animations equipped. I don't think it's all pretty basic. I don't really care about all that stuff. As long as my creative player hits jacks, he can do whatever he wants wants if he just wants to run the bases like a normal person then do it if he wants to celebrate fine i don't really care as long as my creative player is hitting jacks that's all that matters to me but yeah guys that is the creative player um information i have for you guys um i'll probably make this video like a command in my stream so you guys can just click on this whenever you need uh, assistance and see what equipment i got um there may be more equipment released later on in the year that is a little bit better but 
as of right now, this is kind of the go-to for me. I think this is what I want to use, and uh, I like my creative player a lot. So anyway, guys, down in the comments, let me know if this helped you. Uh, let me know if you did your creative player a little bit differently. Um, yeah, just give me all your thoughts and opinions down there. But anyway, guys, drop a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.